Very nice. Hey, Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. Quentin King, and he is checking out today a 1956 uh, Gibson J50. It was like this when I picked it up, I swear. Yes, it yeah. was. I, I, I can agree. So these are cool. You know, I, we just don't get enough of these anymore, and they're just so hard to come by. But when you do, I mean, just listen to it. It's got something going on. It's it's dry and woodsy, and just it just has this really cool sound to it. Um, this one's been through a bit, but you know, as, as you know, basically, I mean, this guitar, it's it's really. It's a J45. It's you know, there's. I'm not going to get into the too much of the details, but it's a mahogany back and side spruce top slope shoulder um, from 1956. It's basically a natural version of a J45. Um, great guitars. This one we've done. There's a few things that have been done to it. Obviously, the pickguard's probably been on and off multiple times. <laughs> Looks like at one point they had a pickguard up here too, kind of on the top. Maybe. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, you can see the yeah. the silhouette. Yep, but this one's been set up incredibly. Um, new bridge, bone pin, saddle, uh, refret, and new nut, and it's just, it's it plays well. It's set up well. It does. It does play well. You know, yeah. when I the the questions I have with vintage instruments are always like, how how flexible is it on the setup? Because you know, a wonderful vintage instrument yeah. that's a challenge to play is. That's totally. what it is, but this one... That one's good to go. It is. Many, it, many, it does, many it does play easily. It's, you know, the action, you know, I'll just say it. It's not, yeah. it's not buzzing. Yeah. Uh, it's crisp, but it's, uh, it's not so high that i got to struggle to put it down. Yeah. You know, it's, it really does play pretty easy. Well, what you look for is like, like saddle height. You look at, you know, that's got plenty of saddle height. So mm -hmm. over the years, you're able to bring the saddle down. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's no saddle and the action's high, generally they're going to need to be neck reset, you know. Right. So this is kind of funny, too. There's a hole right there, you know. Well, that's where you could hang it, right? Yep. You, just you can either hang it from there or... I'm you know, back in the day, what would happen was... It looks like a, a 22, a lot of, is that a 22 caliber? Well, I think a lot of people, they had a ro little rope that went through here, and yeah. they actually, that was the strap. That was how, how they did the strap. That's how yeah. they did their strap on there. I think it's kind of cool. I don't mind it. I've seen that before on guitars, believe it or not. There's been a few guitars I've seen, and I'm pretty sure that was where they would, would uh, attach their strap. Mm -hmm. I, why they would do that, I don't know. Um, it was before the, the revolutionary introduction of the... The yes, the old uh, strap button. Yeah, <laughs> but what a cool guitar! It is. Um, it is very cool. I mean, it is. It is um, aged. Yes. You know, it's got it's got some wear and tear, but it's it's distinctive. Yeah. You know, it's and got it just good cool. good wear and tear and yeah. good. But it's you know. it's it's uh, you know it plays really well, and I think at the end of the day, it's the sound. It's yeah. It's it's powerful. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm yeah. holding back. If I dig in. Which maybe I'll do. I'll save yeah. that for the clip. But it's got some volume too. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Love it. Yeah. Very. Well, thanks, Quinn. Nice. You bet. That one's a treat to have. Thought we would uh, show you that one real quick before it goes out the door, and uh, we'll yeah. let you uh, play it in the end I'll here, so you can all hear it. Sample for yeah. you. Yeah. Be great. Thanks a lot for watching.